What's up, everybody? It's your boy back with another reaction video. I'll be reacting to Honest Trailers Wild Wild West. This is another Honest Trailers based on a movie that I actually like. Yes, it is not a particularly good movie, but it is entertaining to me. So I still enjoy it when I watch it. I'll be, I, I want to say I watched it about four years ago. It's been a while since I've seen it, but still, I saw it a lot in my, like, I want to say my teenage or early 20s, I saw it a lot, but I, I didn't, like, I remember this, I remember you know, seeing, like, commercials and stuff for this, what advertisements and stuff with this movie was coming out. I didn't go to the movies to go see it. I saw it on, like, is it at Stars, HBO, or something, I can't remember when I first saw it. I, I dug it. I mean, yeah. A lot of things didn't make sense. Uh, a lot of things were kind of stupid, but I, it was... <laughs> it had decent action. And I like Will Smith. And I like... Um, what's his name? Um, it's not Clive Owen. That's a different person. I'm not forgetting the guy's name, the white guy. I know the guy. I've seen him in other things. I can't remember his name. But I, anyway... I'm sure they'll they'll say it in here or bring it up. So. Let's see if they have the same issues. They're part of the same issues that I have, but I'm sure they will. And probably a bunch more that I didn't have issues with. Anyway, here we go. This summer, we're getting honest about summer blockbusters, past and present. This is Honest Trailers Blockbuster Summer. From a director at the height of his powers, the biggest movie star on the planet, and an untapped source material with an original premise, comes a cinematic faceplant into a steaming pile of horseshit. <laughs> Will Smith passed on the Matrix for this, you guys. Yeah, that's right. Wiki Wiki, Wild hey, Wild West. I still say he, he did good. For the best movie, where a former runaway slave turned cowboy teams so up with an upper crust white guy suite. who invents a gun Keanu and pops Reeves. out of his sleeve as they face off against a flamboyant, wealthy, racist southern villain. Okay, second best, but what's easily <laughs> the best sci-fi comedy of the 90s yeah, about a mad jingles, scientist man. in the Old West whose base camp is a high-tech train. Oh, forgot about that one. Okay, well, it's definitely the best Barry Sonnenfeld directed sci fi comedy buddy movie where Will Smith teams up with an older white co star to play government agents that ends oh, with them fighting a giant black. arthropod that came out on July 4th weekend. Huh? Huh? Oh, come on! Beat Jim West and Artemis Gordon, the serious straight shooter and the wacky sidekick, but they never settle on which one is which. Will Smith shines as a guy in a cowboy stripper outfit who gives up on his accent halfway through the movie. That'd be an awful career yeah, decision. Yeah, that was true. We'd be getting there a lot faster if you weren't dragging that thing around. And yeah. Kevin Klein shines as the guy standing next to Will Smith. Yep, Kevin there he is. Klein. Is there he is again. Kevin, you are nailing this. They'll team up to take down the evil Dr. Loveless, a racist, fascist, mad scientist trying to overthrow the government. But that won't stop our heroes from really taking him to task for being disabled. Well, I can see where it'd be difficult for a man of your stature <laughs> to keep in touch with even half the people you know. Crazy oh. beard about your height. Seen him? Actually, I was thinking maybe I'd stuff your little half a ass in one of these cannons and fertilize the landscape with you. That's all you're gonna roast him for? Well, when a fella comes back from the dead, I find that an occasion to stand up. We got a lovely little half a jail cell picked out. <laughs> what, did a wheelchair kill your father or something? I guess when it comes right down to it, you just can't beat a good old-fashioned pair of legs. He wants to bring back slavery. Gonna ding him for that at all? Well, you know beautiful women, they encourage you one minute, cut the legs out from under you the next. Nope, just the leg jokes. Okay, cool. So I'm just well, I, well, he, I think he, because he's sensitive about there's his, a lady. his legs being so gone. Impetuous. So, yeah, I don't think he cares about slavery. On, but so is she. Because he wants so to bring back slavery. Oh, he's so graceful. Return to a time when America had to confront the most shameful issue of American history. Boners. Because this movie is so horny that when it's not showing you its horny gadgets, Touch them. it's constantly trying to show you its dick. <laughs> It's di it's diminishing returns on all the lazy sex jokes. By the way, boobies look great tonight, nice and perky. 
She's a breast of fresh air. Who wrote this? My creepy uncle? I have them square in my sights, sire. As do I. The curvature of her buttocks and the swell of that magnificent bosom. So full, so sumptuous. Likes to poke around. <laughs> She's a oh, wow. fresh ass. Why is this yeah. movie so horny? <laughs> yeah, that's So true. saddle up for a film I so disappointing that its only legacy is five Razzies. One great Kevin Smith yeah, anecdote. Five. So anyway, I'm going to meet John Peters. He's like, I got some directives. Oh, yes. He's got to fight a giant spider, spider in the third yeah. act. And the accidental career resurgence of Keanu Reeves. But hey, at least it's the best Kevin Klein movie where he impersonates the president. Really? The best sci-fi western with an acrobatic theme song? You gotta be kidding me! The best movie where Will Smith fights a redneck in the engine room of a mechanical spider? I learned that from the Shen Mei. Okay, this doesn't happen in Pursuit of Happiness or the Orc Cop movie. No, Whew. nailed it. Starring, ah hee haw, da -na 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 -na. inspect her gadgets, damsel out of distress. Shouldn't this be a Spider-Man villain? <laughs> your whore. <laughs> when you were partying, I study the blades. And Will Smith trying to make a line funnier by yelling it. Yeah. This is not the way you transport Nitro! Stop the train! Stop spelling Gordon! Gordon, 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 Gordon! That is not how jokes work! <laughs> The not very good, the bad, and the somehow even worse. You know, there's a little part of me wishes John Peters didn't get to force the giant spider into this movie and had to put it in one of his others, like A Star is Born. Thank you for watching <laughs> this weird. video. But did you know we also make other videos? With just one click, you could be watching one of those videos now. Awful waffle falafel. Waffle falafel awful. Falafel awful waffle. Uh -huh. I love the buttery biscuit bays. Smokin. Oh uh, yeah, they they point out pretty much all the issues I had. Even when I was a kid, I remember it was like I was like a giant spider, so you just gonna walk around the United States, I guess destroying towns. I'm like they, they but people have the, the Gatling gun exists in the Wild West. Like people have, still have uh, like cannons and stuff. They can blow this thing. So it's not like this thing is impenetrable or indestructible. Like so, it, I, I didn't get that. Like you're just gonna walk around and just destroy town by town with it, and, and the U.S. government's gonna like, okay, we surrender. We, like we can't beat this metal spider that can't even travel that fast like, like it was i was like, even though i was young i was like that is the most like I, i'm forgetting the words i want to use they like, just it's, it's not logical like the plan like the the, the, the traveling method the, the i mean at least it was you know the, they had powerful weapons on it but still like the U.S. government has powerful weapons too. At, at, at this point, like the end, of, the end of the Civil War, like come on, like what is, like what is, why, why this, like, why this, why this giant spider? But the whole thing about him making, he's like, why are you making fun of his land? I'm making fun that he wants to basically reinstate slavery. I like, cause he wants to reinstate slavery. He's sensitive about his leg, obviously. So of course he makes fun of his not having leg or a penis i guess most <laughs> even though he made for the boys legs to him not having a penis but uh but yeah just they, they have a lot of like sexual like jokes and i guess maybe i mean i saw those as a kid and i, I definitely believe me i paid attention to them but still i didn't i guess they kind of just like oh it just went over my head i didn't really pay i get or and i said and pay attention to him, but I guess I didn't really care about him as a kid. I was like, oh, it's just sexual jokes or something like that. But that that one when they, uh, they showed that machine, they, they created those like discs that shoot out when they had the uh, magnetic
plates around their neck and they shoot out like a magnet. Um, I almost look like shurikens, I guess, or some shit. Uh, I didn't even think of that. It was supposed to be like a, uh, like a, like a penis or something. I didn't even think of that, bro. Like, and now that I, I look at it with all those other things grouped together, like, yeah, I guess I could see that. But I mean, they, they, they really point out, like, Will Smith is pretty much a, just a heartthrob in his movie. Like, every woman that he meets wants to have sex with. So they, they point that out at the very beginning of the movie. So of course, throughout, throughout it's like James Bond. Like the, at the very beginning of any James Bond movie, they point out that every woman wants to have sex with her, and they play that every single time. Even if he interacts with one woman once, like a desk clerk, she gives him the, the sex eyes. Like she wants the. She always, they always, they pay attention to any James Bond. They always do that. They look, they look up and look down. They're looking at his dick and they look back up at his face. Like, because they're thinking about riding his dick. Like, that's any James Bond movie. Like, and then that's what they've been in. They said they the same thing here. Like, he was kind of like, because even they even point out that like, he's like a U.S. kind of like spy or something in the Wild West. You know, he's a, a black guy post- Civil War. <laughs> so that might be a little tough for him to be a spy back then. But uh, like, <laughs> but I was like, hey, he's, he's cool. He's a good shot. He's charming. Uh, he, he even charmed his way out of getting hanged. Like, And, and you would think, especially in the South, they just like, oh, we don't even need a reason to hang you besides that you're black. And he, like, played a white woman's breast like they were bongo drums like oh, he, he they wouldn't give him an opportunity to talk he would have hanged immediately <laughs> he probably wouldn't be hanged and just beat to death or shot to death <laughs> but I still say hey, I liked how I was is it a, is it a great movie hell no is it a good movie that's debatable but it's enjoyable for me, uh, especially when there's nothing really to look at, and you're just watching it, and you just sit down and you just enjoy it. You don't need to be drunk, you don't need to be high. You just sit down, accept it for what it is, and just enjoy it for what it is. And that's it. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed my reaction, everyone. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'll see y'all next video. Peace.